girl from Atlanta. Nani na na na. Nani, you a star girl. You will have it all. Booking flights around the world. Na 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 na. Oh, Nani, you a star girl. You will have it all. Go ahead and show it off. Na na na. Nani, nani, na na na. Hey beaches, it's Nani. I am currently in the airport and I am at my gate, possibly going to Dubai today. I'm so, so, so excited. The plane just got here from its previous flight. You guys probably can't see, but it just got here. Uh, but it is my first non-rev trip today, so I'm super, super, super excited because uh, I've never non rev since I've been flying. Um, so that is today. Um, I'm gonna be on standby. The flight did look pretty open, um, and I did come to Orlando, so all you guys know, live in Georgia. I am Atlanta-based, so I went ahead and I took Atlanta and flew in a flight attendant jump seat to um, Orlando, and I'm doing standby in Orlando for the direct flight to Dubai um, with Emirates because um, Atlanta does not have any direct flights to Dubai. I just didn't want to risk it going to New York or Miami and not make that flight because those are super big cities. So it was between this Chicago and Houston and I figured this was the closest. So um, I'm gonna be on standby today. I am five out of 10, so hopefully I make it onto this flight. I'm really not worried because it looked pretty open. There were like five open seats in first class and like I think eight in regular like I guess their business class and then they have like it was almost a hundred I think in their main cabin so I'm super excited I'm five out of ten so I don't know if Emirates does upgrades for first class I doubt it but I'm super excited so we will see hopefully in two hours I will be on the flight and headed to Dubai <laughs> if I'm not that'll be the end of the vlog it'll be really sad <laughs> a little later Everything's in Arabic, I'm so excited. Oh my God. I'm doing this in the bathroom because I did not want to film out there yet, but we made it. Oh my God, y'all haven't seen me since I changed my hair color, but yeah, I changed my hair color. But we made it, we on the plane, and we're going to Dubai, period. So I'm about to go get my stuff together and then I'll show y'all the rest.
and good morning. I am waking up in Dubai. It is a gorgeous day outside. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys can see, it is absolutely stunning out here. And I just woke up, threw clothes on, put some deodorant, got bottled water and put sunscreen on because I was laying in here with no plans for the day and was like, I cannot let this pass up my time in Dubai. So I am about to go to the desert and we're gonna do camel riding and ATVing, I believe. Um, and I have to be downstairs right now. So I'm about to rush downstairs, try and grab some food really quick cause I am hungry. I do have water and I brought essentials like my camera and all that cause that's an essential. Um, but yeah, I'm about to head downstairs cause pickup is pretty much now. Um, hopefully I have a little time to get food. Uh, but yeah, we're going to the desert in freaking Dubai. What the heck? I'm with my friend here, a new friend. I booked this uh, tour to go to the desert and they're doing it too, but we stopped at McDonald's and good to know McDonald's is consistent all across the world because it's so good. Look guys, I have Arabic ketchup. Hi guys, we're gonna eat. See you when we get to the desert. We're now eating the food. I'm just letting them tell y'all their names. Muhammad, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> how are you doing? Muhammad, how are you doing? <laughs> and they're from Sudan. Sudan, right? Yes. Sudan. And he is from London. Or you said the UK. I just assumed London. But... You're London. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we're about to eat and then we're about to watch a show of some kind and we get to have. Hopefully shisha. it's a belly dancer. A belly dancer. <laughs> Hopefully it's a belly dancer. <laughs> Good morning, beaches. I am just waking up. Oh my God, my hair is crazy. I'm just waking up. My hair is crazy right now. I'm looking kind of nuts. Um, but I don't know <laughs> that I have the energy to do anything today. Yesterday, I had such a fun day. Like, it was so long. It was a full day of like camel riding. And obviously you guys saw like, me riding on ATVs and it was just a really long day. And then today I wanted to go and do like the Dubai like boat yacht thing that I always see people doing. But I'm like, I do not have the energy 
to put on a bathing suit and go on a boat right now like i just do not have the energy in me today so i think that i am going to go to the grocery store because i um i, I tried yesterday it's called karak tea or i think it's just called karak but it's a tea um and it's like cardamom it's almost like a chai tea latte but it was the best tea i've ever had in my life um and then i went on amazon just now to try and find it because i was like i kind of want to have it when i get home and it is 44 dollars. and who's paying 44 dollars? and it's because it's shipping probably from somewhere over here and it's really like nine dollars so i am going to go to the grocery store and see if i can find some garak um, because I really want some. I think I'm going to buy like two boxes if I can find it. But yeah, so I'm going to go and try and get to the grocery store. There's one that's like 300 feet away. So I'm just going to go to that one. I haven't been really filming since I've been here just because I've really been trying to enjoy the moment. But also like Dubai has rules against the vloggers. If you search Dubai vlogging or Dubai cameras, you have to have a vlogging license or like a media license or something like that to be able to vlog here, supposedly. I haven't really had an issue, but I also haven't been like, oh, I want to pull out my camera. Like yesterday we went ATVing. I could not bring out my camera for that, obviously. I don't have like a GoPro or anything, which honestly made me feel like I should get a GoPro this year because I was like, dang, there's so much dope content, like super dope footage I could have got and didn't get um yesterday. <sighs> But I'm gonna try to find the butter chicken. Just cause I'm craving butter chicken. This is the first vlog you guys are seeing my new hair in and it looks absolutely shitty. It's like the first time you're ever seeing my hair and I have it literally in the worst shape. You know what, I'm just gonna stop complaining. I'm gonna go get food and I'm gonna record on my phone because again, I'm not gonna bring my camera with me. the noise in the background because I am making hot water to make karak. So I went to the grocery store and I'm coming to y'all from this terrible ass angle because I don't feel like getting my tripod. <laughs> my favorite thing to do when I go to other countries is to go and try all of their like things that they sell or like food of theirs. So I did find the karak tea. Karak. And it's the chai version. I just went ahead and bought a big one because I was like, I really just want to take it home with me. I did get this from the grocery store because I was like, obviously that was the reason why I left. So I'm warming up hot water so I can um, try it to see if it's good. And then I got some fresh figs. Guys, I only spent $32 on all of these groceries. And I'm just like more thinking like how good this stuff's going to be. It's worth it. It's worth it. I ended up getting kimchi while I was there just because this kimchi said that it was made in Korea and the back even says made in Korea, which whenever I buy kimchi in the US, it's always like obviously made in the US or distributed somewhere else, but like it's never made in Korea. And obviously since it's close, I want to know if this one's good. I did get fresh figs. They were only $5.95 AED, which I think $1. $1.62 for four fresh figs. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to try it. So super, super cheap groceries. So I got some mango steen. If you guys watch my Columbia vlog, I got mango steen there and it's so freaking good. And it was, this was super cheap too. I don't remember the price, but so I got that. And then I got some Brazil nuts. Got some Brazil nuts. I've never had a Brazil nut. So hopefully I'm not allergic and I like choke and die in this room. And then I got some Moroccan mint tea. This is really just to bring back home because I was like, this sounds so good. I'm thinking about giving it to my mom. And then I got a freaking cherry Canada Dry. This is obviously super American, but I just wanted this to have with my food. And then I got two juices. So obviously on the Emirates flight, they had um, mango juice, like a mango nectar. And I was like craving it again. So I got this mango drink. And then this one is super interesting. This is the other one that I got and it's peach, peach with real peach chunks, which I don't know how to feel about the word chunk because I don't feel like that should be used in any description of anything. Okay, it's not soda. I can't tell if I like it or not. I'm gonna tell you, it tastes good, but it has like a stale taste <laughs> and that's bizarre. Ugh. The freaking like shell to a mango scene is terrible though. Ooh. Got it. 
Mm. It's still a mango scene. It's just not good. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna try the rest of this stuff later because I don't feel like eating it. I want to eat like my real food. But I went and got Asian food. I think this is called Japake or something like that. I forgot, but it's like these like glass noodles. It's so freaking good. I freaking love this. And then I got some bulgogi. And I'm so happy the bulgogi came with rice because I was craving just starch and freaking bread. Look at how much kimchi he gave me. Isn't this insane? It was like less than $30, all this food. At the current moment, I think today's just gonna be a chill day because I really don't wanna do anything. I posted on my story, follow me on Instagram. You should be following my Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram, you're missing out on all of these vlogs. Really much, I post everything. I feel like I post more things on my travel Instagram highlights than I do on um, YouTube, actually. Tomorrow's my last full day here, so I think I'll probably try to go to Abu Dhabi tomorrow or do one of those yacht things. Um, I don't normally get jet lagged. Obviously, like, I fly all the time, like, but this trip is something else. Like, I don't know if, I just am thrown off. Like, what time is it at home right now? Four in the morning, and the freaking sun's out, and I'm sitting in my bed eating Asian food. Sesame oil was, like, the best thing that literally could have ever been invented. Sesame freaking oil. You guys should tell me where you want to see me travel, though. Anyone try and go to Amsterdam in April or May to go see the tulips? It's funny, because I used to really want to go and see Dubai, too. Now I'm sitting here refusing to leave the bed. I'm just rambling at this point. Maybe I'll come back when I make my karate and, like, tell y'all if it tastes like the one I tasted yesterday. If not, I'll be highly disappointed because I spent $27.50, the same amount as the kimchi. $27.50 AED on this freaking container. But I hope it's so good and like, I'm just so freaking excited. I hope it's like delicious and I don't regret it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go make this tea. It smells freaking amazing. Apparently this tea is like straight sugar. <laughs> All right, guys, I made the karak tea. Mm, it's so good, y'all. I could seriously drink it all the time. So freaking good. It literally is like karak tea is just milk tea, but it has like cardamom, and apparently, like, it translates to just strong milk tea. All right, guys, I'm tired of talking. I really just want to chill today. I really want to chill. I'm going to try the figs and stuff. Like if I try the other snacks, I'll try it with you later. Or maybe I won't. Stay tuned to find out. Small world with big dreams. Bad girl with big things. Nani, you the drip queen. Elevator a big deal. Nani na na na, top girl from Atlanta. Nani na na na.